please just found a way to win tonight? Yeah, I asked the players at the end of the game, you know, what do you, what do you make of that? You know, I just wanted to hear what they were thinking before I shared any of my thoughts. And, um, yeah, they thought the same. You know, the ability to, to win in a... It was like a bowl constrictor type game, wasn't it? Really hard to find any space on the ground and in the way the game was defended. Um, but, yeah, just to find a way to, to, to win and, you know, with a few different things not going our way, it was, um, it was really pleasing. It opened up the last... Well, I'm going to say it opened up the scoring over the last three minutes. They scored quickly. Did you start? Probably didn't see that coming. What do you guys make of that? And how did you deal with it? Oh, it was little moments, aren't they? Like one team has to score three goals in 90 seconds, so they, they potentially change the, the way they approach things. But also, yeah, we're in a position where we shouldn't allow that to happen. So yeah, we'll get to work on that. We're not perfect. How tough was the boa constrictor? Um, it was a challenge all day. What was your message at you know even at three quarter time when you had so much of the inside yep. 50 count there, but. Wasn't yeah, well, it's 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 really difficult to score when the, all the numbers are back, and we dominated territory. I think seventy odd percent of that quarter. Um, we felt like we were just going, you know, coming out, going back in straight, and we thought, we'd, you know, we got no keys at the moment. You know, we lost a couple of players, and in that regard, so then it made it hard to get an aerial contest. But um, yeah, we thought the game was played in that terms and that, that way. But it is hard to score. We're just going to make it impossible for them, and they they didn't score. Um, and then in the, in the last quarter. We, uh, we, t we got to work a little bit early and found ways to, to, to manufacture goals. Are you trying to lose a few support to quickly after half-time, Craig, to the team on the Yeah, I just felt that this ground, if you don't manage the way you control the ball, it's hard to maintain territory. Um, it's a long ground, so the ball can... And I thought the game was going up and back, like a ping-pong game at times, and no, no one could score. Um, we just had moments where we wanted to... You know, just control that a little bit more, a bit, bit, bit calmer outside 50. And, um, but then, you know, obviously, with, with the way that our team is, the magnets are thrown around everywhere to, to find ways to score. Um, they're a good team. They defend the ground uh, really well. They're going to be hard to play against. And, um, yeah, we found a way to win. You've got well-documented big man issues, Craig. Were you, uh, We've got more now. <laughs> I'll ask about that. See, um, Darcy Moore's game, in terms of bringing the ball to the ground yep. and also controlling it. Yeah, yeah, really pleased. Yeah, we had to move Bill into the ruck. Um, we felt this week that that was an opportunity for us, but then played a bit smaller down back. But Darcy was enormous. Um, yeah, everything went near his area. He, he marked or influenced, and um, yeah, we wish we had a couple of them. Now, hesitate to ask this next day. How long? What's the problem, and how long has it been? Yeah, it looks like he's done a tendon in the finger. Um, we'll get we'll get that scanned and, and assessed by um, an expert, and then we'll find out what that looks like. Um, it could be operational. Um, most of them tend to be, but we might get lucky. Is Murphy OK there? Well, and, yeah, yeah Murph, Murph got concussed, um, so he'll be out next week. So um, the doctors have ruled that already. Um, yeah. Have you seen the incident? Um, yeah, have you have any thoughts on it? I haven't seen the incident, but he's uh, obviously been concussed somehow, and we'll, we'll get to work on what that looks like, and it's not up to us to decide that, but uh, he'll be out next week. Is it fair to say that it looked like there was an exchange of words yeah, I'm not sure. I know I was on the bench when he came off, and I'm not sure what was said. But um, <laughs> whether Murph was concussed and not sure what he's saying, I've got no idea. But uh, but reality, he come, he come off and he said something. Again, I don't know the detail of that, but he obviously was upset about something. Just mindful of the situation he was in. Is it possible he was um, saying something to Cameron? He might have been affected by the concussion. Well, like he's been ruled out as yeah. being concussed. Yeah. So um, yeah, potentially. But again, I. Um, I don't know what happened. I'm sure I'll get to look at look at it after this. The dean will be showing me some footage of it, what it looks like. But again, I can't comment on what I didn't see. But what I can say, he's been ruled out for concussion and he won't play Anzac Day. He's had challenges in that area before, so obviously that's going to be something that it's obviously closely monitored. Won't play next week. But does he feel okay now? Is he sort yeah, of yeah, yeah. He's he's up and about now. And yeah. um, but again, the doctors made a ruling according to the, the rules that are in front of us. With your lack of talks, Craig, how much? Yeah, yeah, and I, I said I'm really proud of the guys because all of a sudden we've got three or four guys out of position. We've got Will Hoskin Elliott playing as a key at times. We've got, you know, Jamie Elliott playing as a key at times. And then we've got Checkers just fighting like he always does for us, which we're really, you know, so grateful to have him in our team. Um, yeah, it, it comes at a cost. There's always a little moving part. Um, would it be nice? But the, the nature of AFL footy, it's round five. We're not the only one that's got injuries. Um, it's just it's just what happens, and um, you know to find ways to win um, in these times is it's super critical for us. We'll get players back at some stage, 
just right now we're losing a couple. What, what was the situation with Tagoe? I mean, he was 100% on Friday, then he obviously yeah. got gastro at some point. When did you learn about it? How did it all take place? Yeah, early this morning. Wake up to my phone and Geordie's got gastro. You know, oh, God. Um, not that you want to get gastro, but let's not give it a Geordie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Are there other players who also had issues in that sense? Or no, no. The coach has been a bit sick this week. I hope I didn't give it a Geordie. Uh, no, um, no he, he's going to... I always like to look at the bright side of life. We're going to have a fit Geordie for Anzac Day. How good's that going to be? <laughs> is Kruger a chance for Anzac Day? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He has to come into consideration. He played today. I don't know how he went. We didn't get to see any of that. Um, hopefully he's pulled up well. Um, yeah, w without having selection now, but he'll definitely get, be... Uh, Considered. Did you fly Bianco over thinking you might have a chance this afternoon? Or? No, we well we flew our emergencies back to play VFL today, um, and left one as a carryover. Yeah. But then when Geordie Geordie goes out, you need to have another one because then we look silly if someone happens <laughs> something happens before a game. You don't have a sub. Um, yeah, it was all precautionary, and it's a credit to Trent. He's he's such a great team player. He just manned it up, said I'll come back, I'll, I'll do what the team needs. So we're very lucky to have him. James, how did you find you? Uh, I've got an enormous respect for Ross. I played with Ross. I don't know, only a couple of games, but um, we go a long way back. I've um, got an enormous amount of respect for him. I love the way he's getting the best out of his list. And I'm not trying to denigrate the list at all, but you got to, they got a lot of injuries and they're playing right out of their skins in terms of what they're capable of and abiding to a game plan. He's, he's a very good coach and it's good to have him back in the AFL. Like, in terms of they had numbers back. Yeah, I think the ground, the ground really suits him. I, I, I think Rossby should be called for gather rounds for 10 years here because it, <laughs> it's, uh, it does suit the way they defend. And um, it's difficult to, to it, it, you know, Lee Matthews, this is not something new. Lee Matthews used to say it's going to be hard for us to score, numbers back, um, but we've got to make it impossible for them. And we, for major parts, we did that. Um, yeah, but then it's just, with a few personnel out, we, it made it even harder. We couldn't get it in an aerial contest at times. So um, credit to them. Yeah, it's, they're going to be hard to beat. What do you make of the, uh, this, um, the pre-match commemoration of Nicky Lingmar's um, yeah, iconic gesture, yeah, iconic stance against racism? Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, I think it, the more that we can do to support others that have had things done to them in the past, that we can move forward, you know, to have closure, hopefully, and, and grow. And, you know, I keep saying our best days are tomorrow. You know, hopefully we can allow that for, for not only Nicky, but Gilbert McAdam. I played with Gilbert Gilly. I love him. He's a great fella. Hopefully we can put some closure to things like that and we can get, keep moving and keep educating ourselves to be better. What did you make of Jack Kennedy's return to the team, Craig? Um, I thought he was a bit scratchy early, but when we needed him, he did a couple of things that were really important to the game. Um, he's a clever player. Um, yeah, he's, he's important to us the way he can do little things that others can't do, and um, I think he'll be better for it. Craig, so realistically, do you have any choice to play Kruger? Because if you don't have Murphy, you've only got more as No, no. I'm reluctant. I said to the team, we want to have deep wins, and and uh, and then yes, yeah, live in the moment. So I'm reluctant to get to match committee for next week um, and stay here for, for as long as we can. Um, that's something I've, I've promised the group. Just on Kennedy, obviously delivered that goal in the last quarter. Is he a player that just plays at the same level regardless of next week where he goes? Naturally? Yeah, potentially. I haven't seen him play VFL before. In the first couple of weeks, it looked like he was needed to run the first week. In the second week. His GPS was quite strong, and in a, in a, a performance for the group was was difficult. So um, we backed him backed him in, and um, I, I think we'll get better for the run. Uh, just on Cox, Craig, are you waiting on another scan? Any update on that? I haven't heard the update, latest on that. No, my understanding was he was going to get another scan. It was either late this week or next, so I need to follow that up. So no chance for anything? No chance. No. Thank thanks, you. thanks, guys. Thanks,